Don't just buy the cheapest Amazon stainless steel milk cup, milk frothing pitcher, milk pitcher for making latte coffee art cappuccino. Let me explain how to get a jug that might actually improve your latte art. So why do I not recommend buying a cheap latte art jug? Isn't it just a molded piece of metal that holds milk? Well, no, there's some major differences between a good latte art jug and a bad one. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you should go out and spend 200 pounds on a brand new latte art jug, or that this will improve your pores if you haven't got your technique down, but it is an important part of your kit. Now there are four things that I think about when buying a new latte art jug. The first is the spout, which is the most important, then the size, the price, and then the handle type. Any spout can pour latte art, and you can even pour latte art out of a paper cup. But the shape of the spout will encourage the milk to move in different ways, which might be better for certain designs. Spouts that are narrow at the end encourage finer lines, although I would recommend something a little bit wider for beginners because they're much more forgiving and can do, pardon the pun, a wider range of designs. You can choose a sharp or a rounded spout, but not all spouts are created equal, which is why some jugs cost a lot more than others. So my right hand is a seven pound latte art jug that I bought just for steaming milk at the cafe. And this is a 45 pound iCape one that I bought for pouring. Why is this one seven times more expensive than this one other than the brand just trying to make more money? This kind of machining is actually pretty difficult to do properly, which is why this jug doesn't bother with any of that. This spout is just crimped over, and I'm not sure if crimped is a word, but if you're only paying a few pounds for one of these, then you can't be sure if they're gonna do that much quality assurance to make sure that the spout is leveled and machined properly. You might order one and receive a wonky spout that doesn't go down the middle, and it'll screw up all of your pores before you even start. Paying a little bit more helps you get that quality assurance so you don't end up with a dud, and you also get a better design latte art jug that allows the milk to flow at the correct speed and angles to get nicer designs. Also, on cheaper jugs, you might like the paint job when you receive it, but you'll find that it's much more likely to scratch and look worn more quickly. More expensive jugs have better paint jobs. Now they say the size doesn't matter, it's how you use it, but that just doesn't hold true with latte art jugs. You need the right size so you have enough room at the top when you're steaming so that it doesn't spill over the edge, and so that when you're pouring it doesn't come out too early and too fast, ruining your designs before they even start. I generally use two different sizes for different kinds of milk drinks. So the first one is a 600 ml jug for my standard 300 to 360 ml lattes, and then I use this 420 ml jug for smaller drinks like flat whites. These ones have handles, but I've seen a lot of people using handleless jugs as well. For some people, they work great. Personally, I found them a little bit harder to use than a normal jug, which is fine. Try one out when you get a chance and see which one feels more comfortable for your style. With a handle, you're gonna control the motion with your wrist, which isn't gonna work very well for a handleless jug, which is more of an elbow joint movement. A lot of pro latte artists I know have multiple fancy jugs and choose carefully which one they're going to use depending on which design they want to do. For intricate ripple designs, they might use something with a sharp spout like this one from iCape. And for something like a slow zetta, that is a slow rosetta, they might use something with a wider spout like this. You don't need to spend all that much money, but do get one from a reputable manufacturer so that you at least can know that you're not going to get a poorly machined spout. And when you do start doing more advanced designs, you can buy yourself a fancy jug. I'll leave some links in the description to ones that I've used and like. There are more expensive pro-level latte art jugs like the Jibby jug, but I just don't think I'm at the level yet where I would see that much difference. Maybe sometime in the future when I start competing. One thing I can promise you is that jugs are not the biggest difference at the beginning for your latte art pours, and if there's something holding you back, it's almost certainly not the jug. Take a look at my playlist here for all the videos I've done on steaming, latte art pouring techniques, and all of that stuff, and once you've got the basics down, you can invest in a better jug. Give this video a like if you found it useful, and tell me in the comments which jug you use, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, you wonderfully over-caffeinated people, and I will see you on the next one.